Hector, son of King Priam and the chief defender of Troy, has decided on the course of actions that would see his people preserved. The Macarians, a traitor's bunch, were put to the sword, pursued to the Isle of Lesbos where he would then recruit the Harpies, a savage woman folk. Now he turns his sword and sound mind to enemies that can be divided and conquered with a bit of thought and strength. Meanwhile, across the sea right now, Hector hears a looming voice growing closer, just yelling, HECTOR! I'm sure Achilles will be here in time. Now I'm going to get rid of one enemy, not through war, but through diplomacy. Let's try that out real quick. Ah, you do want a peace treaty. Well. Now, before we have a peace treaty, why don't you give me, let's say, 200 wood. Alright, what about 230 wood? Perfect. I'll take that. Now I have only one enemy to fight. I did something very aggressive. What I did, I did not just defend my lands, I went out to conquer. For me, the best defense is going to be a solid offense, and I came over here to take lands. Sure, they're not happy, but it could be a great training ground for a secondary leader. Also, I'm building Trojan Towers in order to enhance my garrisons. They shall be quite large because of it. Now, I've got only one enemy to go after. I can't really move right now. We're going to combine what we have. I'll get more swordsmen. Done. I'll have 20 units total. You shall wait here, my friend. My agent shall wait too. And Gargara. You two, for now, are going to build a Trojan Tower. Two swordsmen, two Trojan warriors, one group of archers, and slingers. All solid things to have. Now let's end our turn. Hopefully we can maintain our only singular enemy for now. You want money from me? No, I need that gold. You can't have that gold. And that gold belongs to me. And we can fight them later if we so choose to. Oh, you're swapping out. Okay, 11 units, 12 units. They have how many in that garrison? Quite a few. How do you like my brother? My brother's a loser. Oh, well. I completed one mission over here. 20 units in a single army. Let's go over to Divine Will. All right. Now, I want Apollo to love me. I'm going to pray to him real quick. I've got the money for it. And let's go check on diplomacy again. I wonder, who would like a non-aggression pact? Oh, really? The Greeks would? Interesting. What about a defensive alliance? A Trojan pillar. Lycia, sure. We can do that. Now, before we do that, I want military access. And also, I want a few goods from you, buddy. All right. You don't really care about your food. I'm going to take some of your food, if you don't mind. Let's say 1,000. All right. 1,500. I can go higher. Let's go to 2,000 and see. Perfect. Yeah, that'll do it, man. Thank you for the food. Now we have a new buddy, Sarpedon. Our friend Sarpedon. I don't want a military alliance right now. All right. Let's keep on looking around real quick. Who else is going to be friendly with me? Defensive alliance. No one else for now, which is fine. There are other factions who would like a non-aggression pact, but I'm going to leave that alone. Now, I don't want to fight the Amazons. I'm trying to avoid that today. I wonder... Would you give me, let's say, 200 wood? 275 wood. Oh, we're getting closer. I'm inching my game up. Oh, man, even more than I thought. Let's say 325. 340. 350. Man, you're just treating me today. I'm going to just get every little bit that I can. So we'll say 369. Nice. Oh, lady. You will give me what I want. She's like, no. All right. We finally found it. It took me a, a moment, but we finally found it. Hopefully she'll leave me alone. Okay. Look at that. Pact of strength. Your partners within the league have expanded their borders. So now the league has grown in power. I wanted to focus on diplomacy and bartering before we went into battle. Size of league 12. So now over here, what do we have? 8% more campaign movement range of all armies. 15 morale added when defending. Wow. You wait until I max it out. The alliance grows, and what about over here? Okay. Good. He likes me a lot more. He's essentially throwing things out to my brother. Like, okay, if I have to like you. But so far, I've got 52. I'm doing much, much better. <laughs> All right. Now... It is time for that battle right after I look at my lands. 
My lands are doing pretty good. We have our Trojan Towers. Lesbos. Look, I wanted to go take Lesbos for a reason. To get my Harpies in. All right, I'm going to take another expanded building. Give me my Trojan Tower. We'll build a Harpies recruitment building there later. I have already how many? Two. And early on, two will make a big difference. I mean, having a mythical unit early on is quite powerful. All right, let's come over here and bother their army. Oration of Dread. Hmm. All right, let's try it out. Go after that little town. Shoot, she's stupid. She can't help that. She can't help that she's stupid. All right, let's come over here now. I'm passing through your lands. Get over it. Hector comes again. I have a blessing in combat. My slingers can deal more damage. I have no slingers, so... Oh, well. Thank you, lady. Thank you. I'm not going to wait them out. They have two commanders. They have plenty, plenty of archers. Five groups total. Slingers, javelin men, and swordsmen. But to war we go, nevertheless. For Troy. Hector is now ready to defend his people by killing other people. Our enemies are way down there. We're going to use our skirmishers extensively early on. Then later, we can move on with all of our melee. It's going to be a brutal battle over 12 minutes long. Here comes my harpies at 63 missile damage. My light skirmishers are all right. They have only 21 missile damage. That is a dramatic difference. All right, ladies, let's have at it. Now, they've got some archers. I'm going to use my archers to counter theirs. Mine are going to win. Theirs, not so much. They're not going to win. Hector will also move over here in time. But there we go. There's our initial attack. We're about to exact a bloody toll upon them, man. They've got to pay it. You're going to watch me play rather aggressively. In my Odysseus campaign, I've got to move from island to island. But here, here, I get to just charge right through many different enemies early on. I've got to consolidate our lands before the Greeks are here. Then the whole neighborhood will be torn up. Oh, look at how many have died already. And we're attacking those archers too. I'm going to move in my infantry when I'm able to, but for now, we'll continue to poke them. Yes, I like poking. Surprise! There's Hector. He's just waiting right now. I do like that purple. A very regal and royal purple. Oh, these shafts are falling down upon them. Look at how many just fell dead. I wouldn't be wearing white when fighting me. I'll get some blood all over you. All right, we're going to finish off even more of them. Part of me was going to save some javelins for more of their range units later on because I could easily fight right through them, but I chose not to. Though I will advise you personally, if you want to save a few more infantrymen, then send in your infantrymen and save a few ranged attacks for other ranged enemies who might be lurking in their base. And I'll show them off in a little bit. I'm going to let Hector charge in soon to go after the enemy commander. Then we can just move in. By the end of our part, I'm going to get rid of all of my militia. I don't want these guys here. They're not bad. I mean, let's have a brief look at them. 30 armor, which is very surprising. I mean, their armor is equivalent to my swordsman, which is pretty wild to me. <laughs> of course, we do have a higher weight class anyway over here. 58 damage, 107. Over here, 16 melee attack, 27. We've got, let's see, melee defense at 35. And so do my swordsman. They have it too. Anyway, back over here again. Hector's moving in. And we're still attacking some enemies who are lightly, lightly armored. Yeah, those abs did not save your life, huh, buddy? He's like, but I've been tanning. I'm beautiful. Yeah, well, it happens. All right, we've got two enemy commanders over here. Two heroes. Soon to be fallen heroes. Come on, become a martyr for your people. I'm sure they'll last a long time. I'm kidding. They won't. They shan't. I'll do it. You'll do it? Great. Now these two get the fight. Hey, man. It's just a little prick. Don't mind it. Look at that light hit his spear. Oh, two commanders. Two heroes. Hector's like shield to the throat. An ancient family technique. If only Hector was in direct command and he didn't go out to fight. How different things would be, right? 
All right, let's back it up a little bit. I was like, what's that floating shield? A curse upon me. Now they've got slingers over here and some archers who remain alive. Surprisingly. Now I'm going to move up my archers. They have 173 kills. They're going to move right over here. Then they're going to rain down upon their enemies. The reigns of Hectomir. I bet you guys even like the Greeks. I bet you do. If I was playing Odysseus, I would say, I bet you like the Trojans. I bet you do. But here, ah, you're just a Greek lover. Wait, so is my brother. Crap. Well, he's an idiot. His name is Paris, not Hector. A real man's name. All right. Let's go over here again and have a look at my skirmishers. My harpies. Oh, I, dude, if I didn't have these harpies, my battles would be... A little bit more challenging. So me going for the Isle of Lesbos was a good call. I'll always go for Lesbos Isle. It's my favorite island for the Harpies. All right, now we're attacking over here. Some of these light skirmishers. They're like, huh, some of us are dropping dead. Strange. But look at how far my archers are. That's great. You're not safe anywhere, kids. I can hear the Harpies again. Oh, sweet ladies. There they are. Attacking a few more enemies who are close by. All right, we've got some light skirmishers. They're going to be hit a little bit. Hector was able to break down that one hero. But now he's going after another one. Get him, Hector. Make him pay. Show him that only you know how to properly handle your spear. Whoa, that guy went flying. They used the power of the gods to keep him away from the duel. Over six minutes left, and right now we're going to move in some infantrymen over to my left flank momentarily. Not yet. Not yet. Victory point, the plaza. Here they come now. Oh, a dead hero. Some archers probably. Yep. Oh, yeah. You see where? <laughs> He's gone. Anyway, swordsmen are coming in now. Cut them down. Yeah, you are the one who will die. Let me voice Hector. I'll just shout out Achilles for three hours straight. Let me voice Achilles and I'll shout out Hector for three hours straight. That'll be his only line. Just saying like uh, Hector or Achilles in different intonations. But look at how cool this fight is over here. Of course, we're low on arrows and we're going to take too much damage. I'm going to have to pull them back soon. Yeah, they're scoring. They're getting some kills. I'm only getting a few of them, but I'm not giving it up. I wonder if it would be better to have those notifications on the top left or something. All right, we're back over here again. That hero is broken. Look at everyone just moving in now. Destroy them all. Um, <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> that bench was like, okay, I'm out ceases to exist I love these towns there's so much going on in them all I need is just a bunch of villagers screaming in their love and adoration for Hector no I uh, had a paladin named Hector back in World of Warcraft yep it was one of my favorite names for many many years but Troy came out in 2004 WoW came out of beta in 2004 a million years ago and his name was Hector named after the Hector we're playing now that Hector get ready for the Hector ring it's like the reckoning but with Hector involved you see all right swordsman 32 kills for Hector dear sweet Hector he's got no kills but it's only because he's been challenging enemy leaders who are now broken over here we're using some of our skirmishers I'm letting my light skirmishers take the hits they're broken but my harpies are still here they're getting some kills they broke some enemy archers awesome we're over here using our swordsmen to fight some militiamen it'll take some time if only I had one more one more brain cell then I probably would have moved in over here to flank them easily well actually no it would have been fine I would have gotten these archers but I thought I could easily overpower them. And I was busy operating over here too. Just pushing in. Two groups of swordsmen. Yeah, pushing in over here where they have a bunch of ranged units. Even though their damage is not a good idea. I'll warn you on that. 
What I do enjoy about looking at battles in hindsight is learning from mistakes. It's how I kind of like update all that information in my head. These harpies are pulling back 200 kills. These skirmishers, 64 kills. My Trojan warriors, my clubbers, they love to go clubbing. They're moving in now. Hector's fighting. Five kills right now. Here comes more swordsmen. For Hector! And they clash. The boys are in town. All right, let's move again. Let's move again. Swordsman, how fare thee? Not well. Okay, understood. We're still fighting over here. We broke them finally. Oh, man. These campaigns have been great. They've been so dynamic and different from Odysseus to Hector. And some of you have been asking for more campaigns. If you enjoy them, I'll certainly do more. As I love so many of these different tells and characters. I'm going to start watching Troy again soon. It's been many years, so I'm going to watch it again. We need more period epics like that. 300, Troy, whatever. Here's their hero. Now, unfortunately, I've got some swordsmen who are kind of trapped in the middle of a lot of different enemies. I'm hoping that we can get to them in time. I'm moving in a lot of infantry now. We broke these archers while they're wavering. They're about to break. And over here, we're moving in Hector again. He's at 38 kills. We're about to go after more of them. They've got some archers over here in the plaza. They have 52 kills. And the battle's over. We've won. That's it. Victory for our team. Let's go. Mother of God, we did it. We lost how many? 317. Well spent lives. They are forming a foundation for a truly great kingdom. Our kills are very high, too. We got a lot of them. Those harpies put in overtime work. I'm very glad I have them. Okay, we're going to occupy. It belongs to me now. It is part of my own dominion. The Battle of Pedasos has now been concluded. I've gained a pelt. 5% more to my casualty replenishment rate and plus 2 to motivation. We also have over here Pedasos. Amazingly, for a mortal steed, Pedasos, captured by Achilles following his defeat of Etienne, can even keep up with divine horses when pulling a light Trojan chariot carrying a spear-armed hero. Oddly specific, but okay. More speed whenever I'm on a chariot. But now it belongs to me, not Achilles. When the gods speak. So we're over here, and we're going to replenish. I'm rank 5. Rank 5 is great. Ooh, 7 more melee defense. Very powerful. What's over here? More hit points. More melee defense for everyone. Higher recruit rank could be quite handy, but it's only plus one. I think I would rather a buff to my stats instead. Ooh, fatigue. I like that a lot. Fatigue reduction. Units always begin battle fresh. That would be good if I'm force marching, but no, we'll take over here. Ambassador of Hermes. We shall recover in battle. If my men do not tire, we can fight at full strength all the time. Okay, I'm losing some food per turn. That was always going to happen. That was meant to happen. What's over here? My altar of Hera. And down over here? Right, I need to upgrade a building. We'll do that now. Okay, can I recruit anything fun? Not Well, swordsmen. I can get swordsmen and militia warbands. Nothing for me to really combine. I could get rid of them, but they are ranked two, so I'll keep them for now. I will keep them for now. All right, so we've got how many more locations to go after? Oh, okay. Just two over here. Then, would that be it for them? It might be. I don't know who will fight afterwards. My god, it's a bigger map than I really thought. There's a lot. Even stuff uh, way up here. Huh. Very nice. All right, well. The league grows and I do as well. Let's end our turn. There's going to be more people for me to fight anyway to like the east and northeast. There's my brother. Oh, look at him. Couldn't you have found a nice Trojan girl at home? Make a mama happy? Come on. Adrastos, what do you want? Let's see, a barter agreement. No. I mean, I do need wood more than anything. You know what, actually? Sure. For now. Only because I need wood. I need timber. What's over here now? Kaim. You're fighting... Oh, no, no. Actually, you're a great person for me to potentially fight later. Maybe. I'll think about it. If they're a pillar of my Trojan community, then maybe not. Thank you, Apollo. I appreciate you. All right. Mission issued. 500 wood if I build some altar. Well, that's done. Thank you. The King's Hand. A new mission issued. 
one new agent, I'll get 20 gold and 500 food. All right, we're not done. We've got to move again. Oh, you know me. I'm all about respecting the gods. Now, we are not fully patched up yet. It doesn't matter. We're going anyway. 12 units, my god. That is quite the army. Oh, ho, ho, that should be interesting. They've got many, many swordsmen, but not nearly as many ranged units. All right. Let's go over here to the divine will. All right, so I'm praying. Dear heavenly whoever, someone help me. I'll help on my agents. Poseidon's over here for deep seas attrition. More happiness and growth. I like the idea of getting more happiness. We'll pray to Aphrodite. I offer honey and oil for your favor. Honey and oil, hell yeah. Give me that honey and oil. All right, I'm going to upgrade my capital to a citadel. It'll give me a new protection. Protection. I was reading protector, which is my commander type, but it'll give me a new building slot. We are moving in right now. I'm going to allow my skirmishers another opportunity to really rend a bloody hole into their formations. They've got two commanders. Every time they seem to have two commanders. They need more than one hero to match the ferocity of Hector, our epic hero. The guy knows how to fight. Here's my archers over here. In the very beginning, I'm a little bit timid in how I approach them. I thought maybe I should just let my archers get some kills. Already, they're dying. I mean, they have only 30 armor. They look a lot more armored than they actually are. Let's have a look over here and see what we're going to do next. We're going to bring in the javelins in just a moment. Then I'm going to let Hector move in to go after enemy heroes. There we go. Let's get him. Get out of his way. Are you all right, man? He's like, yeah, I've had too much wine. I bet you have. Yeah, finish them off. Finish them all off. We're going after these swordsmen, too. These javelins. Oh, they're winning it. They are indeed winning it right now. My javelins over here to my left flank are just light skirmishers. I have my harpies who are well protected. You'll see what I'll do to keep them safe in the future. Like over here, we're being hit by some archers. They're going to be able to kill a lot of my boys. So what am I going to do? I'm going to pull back and I'm going to bring in a fodder unit, some militia warband. They're going to move up. I mean, they have shields. They have a chance to live. And they're going to take the hits for me while I use my javelins to kill more of their infantry without us being hit as well. Their enemy commander is losing to Hector. We're not even having to help him out. And he's already dealing a lot of damage to him. Kill him. End him, Hector. Ooh, getting kind of ballsy there. I'm going to pin him to a wall. That was pretty sweet. Oh. Oh, trying to make him look bad while I'm watching him, huh? You get him, pal. That's okay. It's all good. The ladies are here watching, too. And we're still just raining down terror and havoc upon all of your swordsmen back there. And over here, see, I've got my light skirmishers, and now they're attacking more swordsmen. I've got some militia over here. I'm not going to send them in just yet. Not yet. Not time. Not today. Look at that grass. I just want to run through it. Maybe with my shirt off. Just screaming. Hector! Let's go back over here real quick. Oh, pretty soon I should be able to actually get more of my guards of Troy. They're right back over here. I'm keeping them safe. I never know how bad some battles are going to be in the future, so I do like to keep my elites safe when I know that I can. I'm not always going to do that, but for right now. I don't need them right now. So we broke a bunch of them. Hector won a battle. Oh, he absolutely tore them to shreds. He's going to chase them now. Let's go. So let's move back over here real quick. My enemies are moving away. I've got my militia war bands charging in, going after enemy archers. Hector's moving in. We're going after more of them. That militia war band has 11 kills right now. We're still killing a few of them who remain. He's chasing after a few more. We're going to move in again. Let's see. Who's got a lot of kills over here? 286 and 297. Only because I took the Isle of Lesbos for my harpies. I mean, look at my light skirmishers over here. 34 kills, 45, and 60 kills. And that dude, or that group, is nearly out of javelins. And not nearly as many kills. Not at all. That protector has one kill. 
Boo. Are, losing heart. are they losing heart? Now I'm bringing in three groups over here to come flank them. Look at that big blob. They've got some archers who I'm going to go chase down. They have 50 kills total. And here's Hector fighting a group of swordsmen. Look at that. See, it would have been better for me to move all of my javelins around. Because units are able to maneuver so quickly, you can actually flank fairly well before the battle's over. Oh, dear, man. You need to leave. But yeah, Hector's going to be over here for a minute. <laughs> Bye. Is he dead? Yep. Oh, yeah, dead. I just had to be sure. He's at 12 kills now. My swordsmen are moving in to go after some more of their ranged units, like over here are light skirmishers. Over here, I've got some militia warband who are unfortunately surrounded by a lot of different enemies, but I had to keep them busy. I was rushing in. We're going to bring in some more units. Over here, they have archers who I need to kill because right now they're killing a lot of my swordsmen. That's understandable. I'm killing some light skirmishers. See, I've got them like pretty much all engaged. You've got to keep them all engaged. As long as you get into their ranged units, they cannot stop you. So let's have a look again. Now the battle's going on. We're sending in some more of these swordsmen to help out. Meanwhile, these archers have, wow, over 40 kills. They broke apart my poor swordsmen. I mean, they were caught in a crossfire. They did to me what I often do to them. So those casualties are high. Here comes my Trojan warriors. We'll go after those archers. Hector has 29 kills right now. He's not going to kill them quickly, unfortunately. Warriors are my warriors are rallying. Wonderful. Let's go back over here real quick. Why don't we? Light skirmishers again at 78 kills. Oh, 79. They're out of javelins now. We're still over here fighting. We've got, let's see, militia warband at 48. We still have got to kill some archers over here. And let's see, what else do we have? We've got our swordsmen. Our awesome swordsmen. Also over here, we've got Hector. Hector's got a lot of kills. He's using Divine Focus right now. Increasing his damage. Let's see. Swordsman. 15 kills. He's charging in to go after these archers finally. They have uh, 69 kills. And we're still fighting in just a complete quagmire of garbage. But they're about to break. I mean, look at their casualties. I've got over 2,000. They have over 1,100 left. But now my infantry is moving in again. Let's have a look over here. They've broken. Their hero has broken. When they lose both heroes, that's when it gets a little bit shaky for them. Now, doesn't it? All oh, these archers. Their archers have nearly 200 kills. Wow. You never see them do so well. Hector is at 63. And they're done. They broke. They all broke. Hector has done it again. A grand victory for everyone involved. Okay. Well... No, no, for me, for all of my people involved, they're dead. They're just kind of refuse. They are fertilizer now. Or, you know, feed for the birds. We gotta feed the crows. All right. It's time for me to occupy. I'm not here to burn down these people. They're my neighbors. Goodbye, Pandaros. I've opened up the Pandaros box. To so throw him in and bury him. All right, so over here, I've got a gold mine. Oh, thankfully, 3,268 gold left. That means I'll be getting a lot of gold. Wonderful. All right, I lose some influence, but that is okay. There is a muster filled over here. Do I even need swordsmen? Probably not. Let's have a look now at the map. I've got neighbors out there, don't I, who like me? Yeah, sure. Attitude. Oh, their attitude could be better, though. Could be better. What about you? What are you all about? You've got two locations. Kaim, who are you? I need to know all these people and what they're up to. I have some respect. All right, you've got an ally. I see. I could fight you. You're timid, servile, but reliable too. But you're a raider, and I can't trust you. You own four locate. You own a lot. Interesting again. Okay, I'm currently rank 15. I could be stronger. I could get more swordsmen. I'm going to replenish for three turns, probably just to build up my lands. Okay, she's moving around. She's been harried so much lately, though. And also, keep in mind, me rushing down here was a good thing just because I was able to get harpies. Now, I've got harpies. <laughs> oh no, I've got harpies. Okay, let's end our turn again. We're doing pretty well. Let's go check on how my father feels about me. I'm at 66. Support your brother. Yeah. Ensure population happiness. I need to do that. Ooh. That's a tough one. I need to complete my epic missions, too. 
What do I have right now? Well, actually, I don't have one right now. Never mind. Never the mind. Altar of Ares. I need to build that. So if I want to build that, I've got to convert my current temple. To do that... Oh, they won't let me... Oh, wrong one. There we go. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Ares, Ares. Ah, here we go. 120 gold. I'll do it. I'll get 10 favor with my father. Let's end our turn. Okay, okay. I saw a purple building and went, ah, must be it. No, it was not it. And there's Kaim at 18 units total. I want to complete my current province. That would be nice. Ah, okay, okay. Aphrodite, thank you for your love and help. Immortal glory, I'll get 600 food and 50 bronze if I do a hecatomb ritual. Or hecatomb. All right. Let's see. Partus. Partus. <laughs> I'm going to bring you somewhere close by. Not over there, but maybe over here instead. Yeah. Here's a ritual of ruination. Try that out. All right. You did it. And you're rank four. Good. What else can we pick up? More happiness. Unlikely advisor. We'll take that one. I want her to bother other agents. Now I'm over here. I could ignore you for now. You own other bits of land. All right. Yeah, only two locations. You have no allies, though. Don't know where Kaim is at. It's got to be like, what, over here? Yeah, over here. Interesting. Very interesting. Actually, here's what I'll do. I'll combine what I have right now. That gives me two slots total. I'm just not going to be patient. I can't be patient at the moment. Just won't work out. <laughs> All right. Some more harpies. Always an interesting choice, to put it lightly. I've got my tower. And two more harpies would be strong, now wouldn't it? It would also give me like more of a boon to a lot of things. What's over here? Resources, bronze. And I like bronze. Bronze wouldn't hurt me. But getting more influence seems to be kind of hard to do without my capital building. I mean, look at that. I could lose influence if I so chose to. And I don't want to do any of that. So what else can I do? Trojan slingers. Spear fighters. Only tier three. It's only tier three. I could grab a practice range for some bowmen. It'll only go up to tier 3. So I'll take that for now. All right. What else can I upgrade? What other locations? Ah, back over here. Okay. That's only my boat stands. Lesbos, I'm going to upgrade you to tier 2. Done. That's over 1,000 wood. And you're getting ready to attack a new enemy. We'll go after these guys down over here. Now, he's got an army of 18. Who's he fighting? He is fighting... Ah, my neighbor. If they lose and I go after him... Kaim shall belong to me, which is what I want. That'll give me two more locations for me to control. Of course, I'll be overextending a little bit, so I could even ignore him and go back after my neighbor over here. But if I choose to do that, I wonder. I wonder, how would that even go? Ah, seven turns because we did sign a peace treaty. All right, I'll have to ignore him then. Let's end our turn again. You're just watching me mull over decisions and I'm having to make these off the cuff. I'm not standing here or sitting here and dwelling on each choice. I'm just having to quickly make my own assessment. Then I have to act upon it. All right, King's Decree, not completed. For the gods, also completed. My father likes me more. We get 80 stone per turn. Now I'm at 109 coming in per turn. Okay, if I do that, Altar of Poseidon. Well, here's a very easy way for me to get a lot of benevolence from my father. Full level up for Ares. Well, that's about to change. Sorry, Ares. We're kind of flaky on who we like to worship. I'm sure that won't bite us in the tail. All right, let's see. Poseidon. I could certainly do that for you. Let's go back over here again. Or the gods. Yeah, plus 10. If I have a look at how much he likes me, we're nearly at the first tier, and I'm way ahead of my brother. He's getting, like, free points constantly. All right, let's have a look over here. So they're out there fighting something. They're doing something, and I can't go fight them, unfortunately. So going after Kaim is really my only choice at the moment. Of course, I don't know where he's at. And that really does confound me. Was he defeated? Maybe he was defeated. Let's go over here and look around. I need to know what's going on. All right. So he's not over there. Well, come on down over here. I still need to replenish anyway. I've got like one more turn for that. All right, we're about to have a big rebellion, so I could also go handle that, too, in a turn. Or I could just move you down. Let's move you down real quick, buddy. I'll get you to pick up some extra units. I'm losing food, but I'll get more food. I'm going to work on getting more food, then. All right, let's do that, then. Or over here, I could pick up... Here we go, plus two to happiness. Very early on thing to pick up, and a very good thing to pick up. 
And if I need to, I'll just barter for more food. So I've got plenty of choices I can make. All right. Let's end our turn again. I can't believe how I was able to beat that entire faction on my own. That was great. Who? A Trojan pillar. Okay. Oh, I know who you are. Absolutely, my friend. We can have that. I want to invite him into my alliance. And you, Alizones. You want a non-aggression pact. Fighting two factions right now, but you're allied to someone who I hate. Well, not allied, but you've got an agreement with someone who I hate. Which is, I don't know, maybe the same thing to me. There's an army of 15 units total. And we're just going to have a look real quick. How long until I convert? One more turn. Gotcha. Let's come back over here and see if we can maintain some measure of peace. Medellin. What do you need down here anyway? Harpies would be great. Or more stone. More stone would be even better. I'll take the stone for now. We'll do that. We'll get crazy and do that. I've got my Trojan Watchtower. Or tower. That's pretty cool. Now we're only at minus one. So yeah. We could actually make a comeback over here. We're getting even more influence. Alright. So... Maybe I could go after you, Kaim. In like one more turn or two more turns. Yeah, we'll come over here. Coming over here to try to bother him. Oration of Dread. Try it out, lady. She did it. She's still rank four. They're not feeling great. And I wonder, can I get anything else? Oh, well. That'll have to wait for now. And we're going to end our turn right after we look at Diplomacy briefly. Offer Confederation. I will certainly be doing that. Defensive Alliance, you don't want that yet. But I could convince yes, you. We should talk. Oh, never mind. I cannot convince you. He's like, no, you can't. You can't sweeten that deal. And so we end our turn again. All right, so our enemy's over here. Where is he going to move to? Oh, into my lands. Interesting flex, buddy. It's like, look at me. I'm just in your lands. Plus 10 more to... Oh, man, plus five. So maybe it just goes up over time. I don't like that at all. All right. What's over here? Make a freaking barter agreement. Can do. That'll happen no matter what. Let's have a look at my missions again. No epic mission yet. Altar of Ares. So we'll switch back. Again, it's costing me gold, but... Oh, wait. Actually, before we even do that. What do I want over here? That's for resources. More food. Food is always great. Plus 5% to influence. A lot more growth. I've got my temple already. I want new units. I haven't gotten new units yet. So here's what I'm going to do, I think. I don't want that. That would be nice for missile units for sure. But I'm going to grab my muster field for one. Then I'll come over here and grab a practice range as well. And I'll get rid of my muster field over there in Gargara. And get something to help me out with, like, let's say food. Because I do need food. Now you. I don't like you very much. I don't like that you're in my lands right now. Be gone. Oh, look at that. Can I reach him? Please tell me that I can reach him. Yes, okay. Let's go in. Battle time. Here's my army moving in now. I'm about to go over my entire formation, but what a visual spectacle for everyone. Now, let's have a look at what my enemies are doing. They're led by one hero. He's a vanquisher. He's going to deal quite a bit of damage if I try to duel him, and I shall anyway. I've got over here all of my militia warbands. I've got my archers, my guards of Troy. Over here, I've got my clubbers and all of my javelins. On my left flank, I've got all of my swordsmen. They're going to move into the woods eventually. That's the hope anyway. And we're going to let Hector just move ahead to go after the enemy commander. His job is to just keep him away and kill him. And they can shoot at Hector if they want to. They're not going to. They fear him, as they well should. Let's watch our favorite hero move into battle. It's only about these two now. Nice little shield. That's a little baby shield. Oh, the duel starts. No one's going to bother them today. His little cape and his little shield. It's like he didn't have his own gear, so he had to get his kid's gear. It's like, dang it. Got to wear my uniform. Okay. 
They get to fight now. Let's zoom out and see what I'm doing. See, I'm just charging in. I'm charging in right away. My archers are killing their slingers over here on the right flank. I'm moving in all of my javelins. They're going to eliminate these spearmen. Meanwhile, my own swordsmen are going to charge in right now to go after spearmen everywhere. Young spears, spearmen, militia. It's a great formation. It's a great plan. Meanwhile... Hector, look at what he's done to him already. That's a vanquisher. And Hector says, I care not. Be gone, thought. Which is our gonna... It's gonna be our made-up word for some type of evil demon. Be gone, you. All right. 25 kills total. Ooh, over 40 now. Look at how quickly we're just melting them all. They're like, my face! Yeah, you're not gonna be saving face today. My swordsmen are going after various target slingers. Over here, we've got a pitched battle between spearmen. They have more armor. They're pretty tough, too. They have a bonus when fighting swordsmen. Hector. He's breaking them. All right, let's zoom out again. That's a mega zoom out, by the way. <laughs> Keeping two units back there. They're not really needed. I've got my javelins in position right now. And Hector's doing fine. Meanwhile, my swordsmen came in through the flank, and now they're breaking. They're just a bunch of egg people. They're just eggs, and we're breaking them over. Some type of awesome pan, and we're just going to fry them up. Yep, they're cooked. They're done. And I'm going to chase them down. I'm going to chase down as many as I can. They've all broken. The battle's over. Hector and the men have done it again. A wonderful win again. I made sure to kill him. Hector is really good at taking down enemy leaders at least right now he is i'm just making him beefy he's a tank where he's just able to move from his shield and poke you it's great all right i'm gonna take of course a little bit of replenishment take him on all right that battle is done his army is gone we have won now it's time to move down quickly to go conquer his lands that's what i'm gonna go do now i'm not gonna chill out here no i'm going down to conquer let's go scout things out and figure out what's happening Man, we are doing some serious good. I mean, look at what we've done so far. That's a lot of land. We've gotten so much. All right. It's over here now. What can I give you, my friend? Divine focus cost. Okay. Over here. Attack speed. Interesting. What else can I get? Prayer to Athena. Yeah, that's an option. What's over here? Fortify. You lose armor. Or sorry, you lose speed, but you gain armor. Plus 20 armor. That's a decent amount of armor, too. Wow. Okay, so I'll need things to keep my rage up in the future. Why don't we, for now, get prayer to Athena? I want more melee defense for my entire army. Not just me, my entire army. We barely took any damage. I wiped them out. I love how I'm able to flank enemies in here. It's so good. It's so nice. All right. Let's see. I can't build anything new. I'll check on diplomacy briefly because it's just what I'm meant to do. It's what I've got to do. Let's have a look around here. No, you don't want it yet? Achilles. I will be a-killing you later, Achilles. Ha! Got him! He'll never come back over here to fight me. He's been shamed. Verbally. Alright. Rank 11. You two are a pillar. You know what? How much bronze do I... I've got a decent amount of bronze, don't I? Yeah, yeah. I do. And I could use more wood. And I want him to like me. Because I want him to join me. A barter agreement, huh? Stone. Now, I'm only getting so much stone. You're unfriendly, though. That would potentially keep you away from me. That's ten turns. Ten turns of me not having stone, though. No. I deny you that. They border my capital. And I have a feeling he'll probably declare war on me eventually. Especially now that I've denied them the right to my resources that I've earned. Here we go. One barter done. All right. Middleene, a maelstrom. That's unfortunate. The hero's journey. Right. Middleene, we're back over here. We're still trying to maintain the peace. I'll be able to do that in time. It shall happen. All right, Hector, let's go. We're going to rush. Just rush down here as quickly as we can. Now let's go. We got to go bother Pitane. Pitane. What can you do to the hero? Let's see. Try it out. Do something. Opportune failure. Well, that's a shame. Okay. They're not happy over here either. Minus 10. Minus 3 from provincial instability. Alright. We're going to have to elevate things a bit. I want that gold mine. 
Wait until I just conquer my neighbor again. Oh, oh. that peace treaty will be his undoing. All right, so we're back over here. I want to get my training camp because I do want renowned swordsmen. That would be very nice to have. Not cheap, but very nice to have for sure. Gargara, I want to get something from you. I haven't decided what yet. I suppose it could be, let's see. None of you end at tier three outside of me getting spear fighters. Yeah, they're medium. They're chargers. They've got a good attack. Yeah, okay. We could do that. My watchtower, I'm just keeping that. Yeah, I mean, look at my garrisons. All 14 units. That is substantially different. What are you doing, man? Are you all alone still? Let's see. Well You're allied to my brother, which again just aggravates the hell out of me. My brother is stopping me from doing what I want because of his nonsense over here. I could just have that capital. If someone could kill him. Oh, that would be good if someone killed him. Oh, well. Let's end our turn again. Ah, here's my epic mission issued. The Shields of Phrygia. If we are to find the enemy sailing towards us, we shall need a pacified Phrygia at our backs. Your father, Priam, has fought Amazon and Hittite invaders marching from the east through Phrygian lands. While Troy has always stood vigil eastward, the full strength of the Trojan host must be brought to bear against the coming Achaeans. We must secure the lands of Phrygia once and for all. I'll gain the Eastern Shield, more growth, influence, and happiness. 2,000 experience for Hector, and merit well deserved. Nice. All right. I'll go up there later. I can't do it yet, but eventually. I mean, they hate me a lot. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. They hate me a lot. That'll probably be my next really big war after I get my other neighbors. Hopefully, we can do that after fighting down here. Okay. Let's have a look again. You did it. Hey. You had a low chance, but you did it. Let's see. What am I going to give you now? Athena. Ares. What about over here? I could decrease their morale or melee defense. Interesting. Creature of honesty. Take that. Now, let's go into battle. Oh, gotta click on you. Not my town. They've got eight units total and one leader. Ooh. I've got to fight it out. If I don't do that, it could cause issues. Let's go over here real quick. Altar of Ares again. Are we going to do it? I mean, it's a great way to get him to love me. I've got to do it, you know. There's Ares again. I'm not going to do it forever, but for now, it's way too good. All right. What's over here? That's what do I need then. More happiness. More resources. I'll take more happiness. You do get benefits for having a very happy population. Right now, they are indifferent, and I need to change that. All right. What about over here? They're still building up. Happiness is going down. My royal decree will be done in two turns, and I'm still losing food at the moment. Now, who would like to join me? No one. Who would like to ally me? No one again. Oh, man. Not a lot of love out there in the world, huh? Not at all. I'm currently ranked 7. I'm growing in power. Power and prestige. Okay. Let's kill. It's time for Hector, the murder train, to charge right in. He's going to duel one of the enemy leaders. Yeah, try to hit him if you want to. I've got over here all of my skirmishers, but my harpies. My guards of Troy and two groups of swordsmen. They're going to attack a group of bowmen and slingers too. Now way over here, I've got some more infantry, my militia war bands, my Trojan warriors. Back over here, four groups of swordsmen and two groups of harpies. Now Hector, he's going after an enemy leader. He's here to win a fight. Oh, you're no Odysseus, pal. Your bow means nothing to me. Look at these two go. Oh, they had to stare down first, but now the fight truly begins. Nice roll. Very dramatic, pal. Oh, what's happening? Your men are dying? Absolutely. Let's zoom out and have a look at that. The harpies have already destroyed them. Way over here, I've got a prolonged skirmishing battle occurring. These bowmen, they stand, they try to fight, but they die. But more importantly, they die. Now, Hector, zero kills, buddy. That's okay. Zero kills is okay. My Harpy's 15 and 31 kills. I just wanted to ensure that I had a place to flank them from. Over here is where I can flank them from. It's nice and open. I try to look at locations that I'm able to move in and take. I'll take part of the village. Then I can use it to stage another attack. We're killing the Slingers. Their Slingers have three kills. Way over here, we've got Hector still fighting. An archer skirmisher hero. 
We just let those two fight for a bit. We broke more of them. They still have a hero over here. Oh, they have Spearmen who charged out. Yeah, they went after my light skirmishers. And they're dead. Or that hero is dead. Thanks to my harpies. And Hector's like, I could stretch. Nah. I'm going to fight again. He just ran right through them. <laughs> he went right after the enemy archers. Imagine that being your commander. My lord, stay safe. He's like, nope, I'm going in. Hold my wine, I'm going in. All right, these spearmen, they're running. They're dying. I really had no idea what the Hector campaign would be like, but this is by far one of my favorite ones. It's certainly a very aggressive campaign because you have so many different people who want to kill you early on. It's like built in a way where you almost need to play defensively, but I said, hey, look at my hands. And I'm just flipping off the game saying, nope, do what I want. And so I forged ahead. I made my own pathway. All right, Harpies. Again, having those so early on was just really cool. Really cool. I can't wait to get more mythic units out there. Hector's moving in again. We're getting into position. I came in through the right-hand side because, I mean, that was fully exposed for me. So now I'm fighting some light swordsmen, and the, the stats are really comparable, so it's not a big deal. And Hector's now going after another enemy leader, though he has taken some damage. Oh, he's got another little baby cape. And my harpies are close by. I'm now moving in even more of my ranged units like my archers and my javelins. They're all about to break. The battle is won. The day is a bright one for me, but damnation and ruination has come down upon them. It's over. They've been broken. Victory? Your name is Hector. After that battle, Hector leveled up. Plus 15 to melee attack when fighting against factions from that culture of theirs. Okay. And later we can choose to deal even more damage when fighting Achilles' faction. I like that. 150 more damage is a lot of damage. So we're about to move. And I am going to try to change up my army when I can. I just can't do so yet because we've got to keep on moving. I'm not done conquering. Once I'm done conquering, we can change things up. Now I wonder who hates me. No one really hates me down here. Okay. There's a lot of factions down here too, by the way. My God, there's so much going on. Meanwhile, I'm just trying to maintain the peace. So once I conquer kind of in the interior, we'll have a great way to make more gold. Oh, especially over here. Oh, I can't wait to take your gold. Gaining a decent amount of gold per turn. Now I'm currently mining too. All right, let's end our turn. Of the Shimmering Helm. Of the shimmering helm. I've got one more little village to conquer. I feel like we have progressed so much. I mean, we're only on part two and look at what we've done, which means I'm very glad I took Lesbos. All right, let's have a look. Recruit a mythical unit. I would love to. New mission issued. Can I go after her? We can try, sure. We did it. Right. Goodbye to you. Now, Hector, let's move down again. They've got nine units total for their garrison and one enemy leader. Ooh. Look at what they have. Renowned club warriors. Bowmen. They've got slingers too. Light swordsmen. Shielded spearmen. Just a bunch of mean, mean stuff. All right, I'm going to continue my siege real quick. I've got to build up my battering rams. We've got to kill him once and for all. All right. So once we do that, we need to also figure out what else we want. I could get even more gold. I mean, it's an interesting idea. They're not happy yet, though. Or I could instead opt to take a guard tower. You know what? We're going to play it safe for now. I'll tell you why. Largely because I'm bordering enemies and I only have one army. Later, we'll get more stuff. Just overall, I was going to get more food over here and we are going to get more food eventually. But for now, I'm just trying to maintain the peace, keep my line of sight up. And also, I can reduce their campaign movement range in that local province. I did mention earlier that I would get food, but that'll have to wait for now. Okay, one more turn to counter our unhappiness. I'm not going to have him help us lose more food. Let's end our turn again and get ready for a big fight right after we look at diplomacy once more. All right, all right. Non-aggression pact, nothing. Military access, no. 
Things aren't changing up too much. A military alliance. I don't want to be drawn into many wars. I really do not. Confederation will come later. Oh, he absolutely wants a peace treaty. He's not getting one. No, he's not getting one. All right, after that, we have nothing more to do. No, we don't. Outside of just fighting. Let's go into battle. Of course, I could wait it out, but we're not going to. Oh, look at that. 20% more morale for sword and axe units. Thank you, Ares. Hector is charging in right away. Here's a battle where I'm not going to hit multiple points. I want to show you why it's important that more often than not, you should do that. I'm going to focus all of my power on one area of their wall, meaning that all of their forces will be over here. I have fought so many battles where I just hit multiple points to where they have got to spread out. I'm going to get rid of probably all of my militiamen after this battle. We'll go back home later to get some more elite soldiers. We need better soldiers now, especially if I want to move on. I've got gold. I've got time. My militia warband, they have limited armor. They're moving to the front gate. They'll hopefully take that without much issue. Yeah, there they go now. They're heading to the wall. And it's a great wall. And Hector's up there already. His goal is to go after the enemy commander. They've got, let's see, one archer over there. And over here, one veteran. Another defender. He's who we need to kill. We're being hit by a bunch of towers. And I'm going to, again, force my way through. Let's have a look at that and what that even looks like. So right now, I'm going to send them through. And they're not going to go only through the gatehouse. They're going up the walls, too, to go fight, to keep them busy. Now, they have a lot of ranged units. I have javelins, and I have one group of archers. So that wouldn't be sufficient. That wouldn't really stop them in, in a good enough time. So these two are actually fighting on the walls right now. Let's have a look at that real quick. Oh, there's a battle being waged behind them. He's wanting to get away. You don't? <laughs> He's like, I'm leaving. You hurt my feelings. I'm going to hurt your soul in a minute. Okay. Let's back it up again. We're about to capture the gates. Over here, I've got a militia war band attacking some slingers. I had to rush on down. I had to. I didn't really have a choice. I had to do something. Over here, we have more infantry moving in. And trying to get the men safely and cleanly, oh boy, it is a trial and frustration. We've already broken down their leader. He's running. He'll probably come back, but look at that. See how on the walls we're climbing up, but we're just being cut down. It's not great. I'm moving in my swordsmen now. We can't all go through the gatehouse, so we'll have to have some of them going up the walls to fight some of these slingers and other guys. But I've got back over here a lot of my skirmishers. They're not going to be used. It's going to be all about melee today. I don't have a great position for all of them. But normally I would have like a bunch of people hitting over here, maybe over here too. But I thought to myself that if I'm going to disband them anyway, that might be the opportune time to really showcase what it's like whenever you just hit one point. Hector has eight kills right now. Their leader down here has 10 kills. We're trying to force our way in. I've got some swordsmen who are pushing in. That's pretty sweet. Oh, that's quite the battle, man. That's quite the battle. Oh, check that out. Check out all of that. They're just taking their sweet time at this very moment. I like that green. I like their Christmas colors. Oh, heck yeah. Let's watch these fools die. Now, that militia warband, they're flanking some enemies. That enemy came back, so Hector's going to fight him again. He's only got one kill. Hector has 15 kills. We're going to take these walls eventually. We're just sending in more men. I've got more swordsmen over on my left wall. My wall. We're slowly pushing through. Nice. That's what I was waiting for. That's really what I was waiting for. That was pretty sweet, man. We just have to finish off their walls real quick. They've got some ranged attacks. Those are always savage. Yeah, over here, seven kills for their bowmen. Got more swordsmen moving in. Militia warband broken. That enemy leader shattered. Hector, 17 kills. We've got a lot of spearmen over here. And renowned club warriors. I mean, that's what they look like. That's great armor. They look heavy. They look mean. That would be my weapon of choice, too. Surreal smash! 
It's a real smash. Good. You have captured the gates. Light swordsmen, swordsmen. We've got militia warband. They're fighting and surrounding a group of their infantry. That's pretty sweet. Over here, though, they've got some slingers, so I've got to find a way to get to them. Or maybe they'll break. We'll see. Hector's at 27 kills now. Militia warband lead by example. They're buffed up a little bit. Well, good for you. See, that's a great way to go after other enemies. You have them rally, then you just send them in. The slingers... Oh, now they're beginning to sling. But unless they're hitting my militia warband right here, that group of 84, they're not going to do anything. Nothing worthwhile. These bowmen are dying too. So now it's in our favor. We lost a lot. We have 1,800 men. They have a little over 800. They didn't even lose a lot, but it's over. There we go. Aristea, he's all buffed up. Very fancy. I'm going to move in Hector. He's at 45 kills now. 45 kills, just kind of fighting on his own. Oh, he's just creeping over. Hector, no creeping. I love just watching him move. Now he is divinely inspired. Do you really want to fight Hector? Can you fight Hector? Is that an option? I don't know if that's an option, guys. 45 kills. We want him to go after the enemy leader if we can. But it looks like they've broken. I was hoping to have Hector go after them, but no, that's over. Confident? Oh, are you? Your friends are routing. We have more of them surrounded. We've got over here a group that needs to come back to help me out. And they're about to all chain break. The battle's nearly over. Ooh. After winning that battle, we're just going to rebuild our army. I did combine my units partially. I didn't want that many militiamen at all. My ranged units are fine. I could even use one more group of bowmen if I wanted to. I've got plenty of javelins. But I'm going to go back home and rebuild my army. About time for me to end my turn, too. And I also wanted to have a positive influx of food for once. All right, let's end our turn. And once I go back, I'll get my renowned swordsman. Over here, I could get some archers. And that's mostly it. Let me have a look at my missions real quick to make sure that I have everything. If I go conquer Skepsis, and I am going to, I'll get 10 more benevolence. What's my level at? Oh, look at that. 96. My brother has how much? 61. All right. So I've got to keep on moving. Apollo needs to like me more. Do I have another mission to change things up for my temple, for my altar? No, we're fine. Okay. Good to know. Let's go back over here. I'm going to change it real quick because I need to worship Apollo. And yeah, there's Ares, but we'll change it over here to... Dear Apollo, where is he at? Ah, here we go. Perfect. 100 more favor. Not bad. Okay, let's end our turn because we are ready to just move on and to continue rebuilding. These people are not happy. I would love to get that last little town, but it would involve a much bigger war than I'm willing to fight. Get rid of that too. That lodge is going away. Over here is a muster field. I don't need that. Here's another altar of Poseidon. Instead, I'm going to, again, dedicate it to Apollo. I'll get more favor with my father. 120 gold gone, but that's okay. Or we could destroy it and get a different building, but no, we're not going to do that either. It's only a tier 2 location. Let's end our turn. So now we have more food coming in, and I've got to plan out my new campaign, my new attack on a different enemy. Well, an old enemy. One single barter. You're friendly. Well, that's good. But we're not going to do that. I actually hope you die. <laughs> I'm going to be quite blunt with you. All right. You're way down over here, though. So I could say, sure. Dardania will like me. Lycia will like me. We'll do it. Only to have them like me more. We're part of a great alliance, and I don't want to break it up. Colt level down. That's okay. I'll gain even more. Okay, let's chill out here for a little bit. I need to chill out here and figure out what I want. Priam's residence. Ah, very nice. 90 food and one happiness. 50 sons to his name. My God, man. You need to calm down, father. You need to calm down right now. All right, take that. And let's see. I need more wood if I want to produce more wood. Kind of caught out there, huh? Yeah, I'm just building my towers because I'm trying to keep my defenses very high. 
over here, plus one to happiness. Very nice. And what else can I get now? Let's see. I've got my tower going. Well, I need more wood. And to get more wood, again, I need more wood. So we'll call it here for right now, my friends. Once we are back, we'll go fight our neighbors right over here to the east. Once I take over all that they have, I'll have another fully completed province. Then later, we'll go after another major faction to the northeast. We'll complete one of our epic missions. Hector is doing well. I mean, in only two parts, we've conquered all of that land. It didn't take long. Very nice work.